Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at Aquatel and the removal of barium from water using a water softener. So how can this be done? So barium can be removed from your home water in a number of ways. You can use a reverse osmosis system to remove it from the drinking water or single faucet, or you can use different water softeners to remove it from water from your entire dwelling. Now, as we know, barium is a common mineral and it is found in the earth's core it's used for things like paints rubbers sometimes fillers but the issue is it can get into water and by getting into water it can cause some issues now we know barium is naturally occurring alkaline earth metal and that due to its very high reactivity it is never found in nature in its elemental state rather it's found in the reacted state and Based on that, the U.S. EPA recommends that barium concentration in drinking water does not exceed 2 milligrams per liter, same as PPM. Also, concentrations above this limit can cause high blood pressure, gastrointestinal issues, and a variety of nervous and circulatory system disorders. Also, water softeners are effective in the removal of barium because barium is very chemically similar to calcium. One of the hardness ions that water softeners are designed to remove. Because barium behaves much in the way of calcium, the ion exchange process of the softener is effective in removing it as well. And when you're taking a look at different water softeners, make sure you get a system that's high quality, has good resin, and that resin quality is measured by the hardness of the resin expressed as a crosslink. So you can look for softeners made with 100% crosslinked resin to ensure the maximum barium removal and maximum resin lifespan. So those are some things to look for. There's different ways to remove it as we can see here. First, you can use reverse osmosis in that process, or you can actually use water softeners. Now know that the EPA recommends barium concentration in the drinking water doesn't go up, exceed 2 milligrams per liter or parts per million. So it's not something that necessarily is going to hurt if you consume some of it, but you want to make sure that it's not in a high amount. And the reason that is, is it can cause a lot of issues. And one issue that it can cause is that it can calcify because it behaves much in the same way as calcium. That's why it's always a good idea to get a water softener or reverse osmosis to remove it. But the big question is, how do you know if your water is exceeding the amount of allowed barium? You don't. The only way to really to truthfully know is to have it tested. That's why it's always a good idea to have your water periodically tested for high levels of barium.